How did you like seeing yourself older? Lois Smith. Lois Smith was my favorite part. I mean, yeah. she just slayed me. Yeah. I, she killed me. That's perfect. She's a gorgeous, wonderful actress. And he did a great job with picking the old, like even even Paul Sand for Alan Cumming. And Lois I Smith know. It was just it was just very well. Yeah. What actually, when you first read the script, what attracted you to it? The love story, and and all the the quietness of it. I thought I just thought, oh, there's so much going on here. I would love to just get in there and. And I, there was so much listening, and, and I just could see it. And I, as soon as I read it, it I, I don't know how else to say it other than I felt like it went inside me. And I, I didn't even know what this girl was saying on the page. I mean, I was terrified of it. And I tried to not go to the audition. I tried to get out of it because I just was like, I, you know, I hadn't worked in eight months. And I, I was like, I really don't need to humiliate myself right now and go into <laughs> a room and just have people laugh and, at me and tell me I, I'm terrible. So I tried to get out of it. Now, Ali said that he had talked to you about who the character was before you started. Did that help? I mean, at the beginning of the movie, you don't hardly speak for like mm -hmm. the first half of the movie. When you do, it's not very little English. Yeah. And yet you managed to convey everything with no, no subtitles or anything else. It's all on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, was that something that was natural? or did, I mean, how did Ali set you up for that? Or? You know, it was all, I, I feel like it was all the other actors. Because really, all I, I did, I felt like I just showed up. And, and if I could just show up, and be open and listen. I felt like it just, they just did all the work because all I really did was sort of react to people, and I felt, and I sort of that to me is so interesting to watch. Those silences, I think, are kind of the most captivating parts. You know, in those kinds of communication, because in, in my opinion, energy is is really how we all sort of communicate. Words are sort of you know, sort of like on top of everything else that that I feel like people experience, and so I I just. I thought it was so exciting to just kind of be there and listen, and, and it, I think that that's a really great way to reveal character because when you listen, it's a very vulnerable place to be. It kind of opens you up if you're really listening to people, and so I loved it. I just I just love this movie, and I'm not I swear I'm not plugging it. <laughs> did you do uh, Did you do Family Stone after this or before? This? I did. I did Family Stone after this, um, like right after actually, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was right after this, pretty much. Completely different experience? Completely or? different, amazing experience. You know, Diane Keaton right. and Sarah Jessica Parker and all those great actors. And I learned so much from, from those guys, so it was great. If there's one thing you would want people to get out of the film and your performance, what would that be? I think um, courage. I don't know. I just think she's such a, uh, in such a spirited, courageous girl, and you know, I think it's hard to be like that. I feel like it's hard. You know, it's hard going around in the world and to to be yourself, and to to say I love you and to have the courage to open up to people. And I think that's like the greatest thing about her. And if you know, if I learned anything, it's that I, I need to be more like that. So you and Tim got along and on the film. The chemistry was 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 amazing. And what was great about it is that you kind of. Even the way you were standing, it's like you started apart, mm -hmm. ended together, and it's like you, you played. Did you guys met before that? How did the rehearsals go? I mean, because it just mm -hmm. looked so much like you didn't know each other, mm -hmm. and then slowly got to know each other in the film. It's funny, you know. He was re he's a very smart actor, and I I didn't I didn't meet him. I'd spoken to him on the phone before I got there, and it all happened so fast. So we didn't really meet. We met maybe like a day or two before we started shooting. But he was really smart in that he wanted there to be a physical, that physical space between us in the beginning. And then kind of, you know, all fell on his shoulders because Inga's just reaching out to him all the time and trying to get closer. And so he really, his job was sort of to, to keep that distance and those walls up, which I don't think is, it was an easy thing to do as an actor, because as actors we want to be open and we want to connect with other actors. So he's just very smart. He really got that guy. And it's complete opposite of his personality. I mean, he's the most talkative, you know, warm guy ever. So, it's cool. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you want anyone to know about the film? Uh, the, you know, maybe give the, one other person to buy a ticket. <laughs> I think you know the thing that kind of slayed me about this m movie is how um, it's so roman romantic in an, in an authentic way. Like it's a very, I think it's a very sensual, real. Like it's 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 a sexy movie in, in a real way though you know in the sense that like they they don't 
it, it's never, con you know, it doesn't, they don't consummate, you know, it's, it's, it's they, they spend this entire movie like going like, ah, like trying to connect. And I just think that's so rare. And it's like, that's always the best part of a relationship, you know, anyways.